Hi everybody, welcome back to the Native Family. I have a 99 cent store haul for you guys. I went in a couple days ago and I saw that they had put out their Halloween pretty early this year and I was so excited. There is new products that they brought in and there's also some repeat items that I'm kind of happy that I missed last year that I will be able to purchase this year. Halloween is one of my absolute favorite holidays. I usually decorate mid-August and I'll keep it up clear up to maybe the end of November. I know it sounds crazy but it is my favorite besides decorating for Christmas. Halloween is just so much fun for me. So they did have new cups, new linens, things like that. I didn't go too crazy because I still have to go through my stash of things that I got last year and I had a pretty good extensive collection of Halloween items that I've, I've had since I was a kid, some belonging to my father. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you guys what I got so I can get into my little tiny Halloween part of the haul that made me happy. I needed a new pitcher. So what I did is I picked up the dispenser that has the little plug here. We go through probably a gallon of iced tea, I kid you not, if not more a day. So I wanted to find two more of these. They did not have any more of these. They are $1.99. They're uh, 4.5 liters. I need, like I said, at least two to three more of these. I do have glass ones and I have the pretty pictures. I like having these because they are plastic. If the kids need to make tea, I don't have to worry about the glass getting chipped. And if this ends up messed up, it was a buck 99 and I can toss it. So these are BPA free. Um, awesome score for $1.99. They usually go for around like, I want to say $4.99, even at like CVS or Walmart. Let's see what else I got. Then it's almost back to school time. The kids start school August 28th, I think. They always like new water bottles. They do have their hydro flasks that they use, but I do like for them to take regular water bottles to school during school hours because sometimes they forget them, they lose them. I don't know what happens to all the water bottles, but they do have these really pretty ones for 99 cents. This is a uh, 24.5 fluid ounces, BPA free, and this one says beautiful and it has the blue cap and it does have a good wide mouth so i was thinking and it has a rubber see how this won't hurt your mouth it's a rubber type feel to it i was thinking this would be perfect for their infused water anyways we'd like to do a blueberry and lemon infused water so this one is nena's and then for Rhiannon, and i did pick up the yellow lid like that with the paint splotches all over it she's really into like the 90s theme right now and this reminded me of, of like everything having paint splatters i remember putting paint splatters on my jeans i had sunglasses with paint splatters so for 99 cents you guys can't beat that especially for the size of it i did pick up two of the 12 count halsa hair clips these are the i want to say like the alligator clip type thing I got one for each girl. They have four of the pink, two of the purple, two of the blue, and two of this pretty green. Two packs, two girls. They don't fight. So 99 cents. Can't beat that. This is one of my repeat purchases. I told you I do not have on-site um, laundry. I do have to go downstairs to the laundry room. And I know it's probably more ideal to pick up the bigger uh, laundry soaps, but this is easier for me to look up and down the stairs. It cleans the clothes really good. It smells Oh, it smells phenomenal. It's the Ariel laundry detergent, and this is only 99 cents. And you get, I think, well, I'd say I probably get about 12 loads out of this, maybe 15 loads out of it. So it's a good deal for a buck. Then we came across the Kool Aid jammers. These are the sour ones. Heads up, I bought five of these. The kids opened one already tried it without it being cold didn't like it we stuck it in the freezer they still didn't like it so i will be donating this we have a daycare up the street i'm going to see if they would want these if not we have neighbors with little ones and i'm going to see maybe if they would like it but the kids did not like this and they usually like sour things so kind of disappointed but we can give it to somebody who will use it okay what else do i got in my bag here okay so i did i was looking for the three-tier fruit basket that was for $4.99. I don't know if you guys ever came across it. For those of you that do have 99 cent stores, I am kicking myself in the butt because I should have picked it up. I was going to, kept walking past it, walking past it, didn't pick it up, and now I can't find it. And I needed, I changed up my coffee bar this year, so I needed a three-tier stand, and I can't find one. So they did have these glass cake platters. They're absolutely beautiful. They're $7.99, and 
that is what it looks like. I did take it out of the box and put it together for you guys so that you could see what it looks like. For $7.99, I'm really not impressed 100%. It is beautiful. It does have these really beautiful flowers painted on the inside. It does have this really pretty chrome detailing. Um, the base is a plastic. This is not metal. Um, and the plates are a little wonky, like a little wobbly. So I'm going to have to see if I can get it to work until I can find, I need one that's a little deeper and I would like to have the third tier so that I could display my different holiday mugs and decorations and decor in there, but it just wasn't happening. So I'm going to try this out, see how it works, see if I can pull some magic on it. But that was $7.99, so it was a little bit more spendy, and I probably could have, for the price, found a better one at a different store, but I just haven't been in the mood to really go out that much. Okay, so what else do we got? Okay, so we're into the Halloween stuff. Super excited. Like I said, I did not get carried away yet because I am waiting for some other products to come out that I've seen. The 99 cent store has their own um, channel on YouTube, and they did a premiere on the Halloween stuff, guys. They have some amazing things coming out, and I'm super excited. Took notes. I made a wish list. Um, but they do have these, uh, what are they? They're just plastic placemats. I like this because it is rubber and it'll be easy to clean up with the coffee bar. I have dark marble, um, well not marble, more. I think it's granite. One of those stones on my counters and it's dark. So I thought this would be really good for my counter. 99 cents, that'll go in front of the coffee bar. Then they have these beautiful linens. I'm going to go back up and pick up a couple more. I didn't think I was going to need that many, but I went through my Halloween linens and I don't have anything this color. All of my Halloween linens are that nostalgic orange and black, but these are absolutely beautiful. This is the owl. And let's see, it is, like I said, this isn't like, this is more of decor. It's more of like a bandana material. So I wouldn't, you know, expect it to wipe up anything. It's more or less to look pretty. And then this one is also, it's like, yeah, it's a bin, I think a bandana, bandana, no, ugh, I can get it out of square, bandana material, but I absolutely love the detail on this with the skull and black, the red and on the white with the little tiny polka dots. Can you see the details in there? So this was my favorite. I'm probably going to pick up about three more of these because I'd like to have four of these ones. Um, the owl one is nice, but I think I'm only going to pick up one so that I have a set. So those are the linens I picked up. They do have Halloween paper straws out. My girls in my house will no longer use plastic straws. They're on a Save the Turtles kick. Um, so I picked up two packs of the paper straws. There are 24 straws in here, and there are the orange and black chevron, and then the black and white little ghosts. They kind of remind me of the Pac-Man ghosts. So those, and then what else did I pick up? Now, this was what was hard. I am going to be going back. You guys know I, I have a super huge problem with coffee mugs. You can never have enough. And they have these Sugar Skull coffee mugs, and these mugs are huge. They are $1.99. Uh, let's see if it has the ounces on here. It doesn't have the ounce. No, it's a 25 ounce. It does. This coffee mug is really big. And they also had the... Um, they didn't have the handle on them, so I was thinking of putting my straws in one, but they do come in black. So I want to get one more white of this and two in black so that I have a set of four. For $1.99, this is heavy. It's good quality. I really would recommend picking this up if you guys are into the Sugar Skull thing. And if you guys are into the Sugar Skull thing, oh my God, they had so many beautiful Day of the Dead decorations from the placemats to the party favors to paper plates to wall decor to stuffed dolls absolutely amazing now i did the day of the dead thing last year if you guys have been following me you know i set up for the whole day of the dead thing for my halloween this year i want to do more of the black and white monsters vintage i love vintage monsters so much i am kicking myself in the butt because um if you follow me on instagram i took a picture of the vintage monsters they had wolfman i believe the mummy medusa Frankenstein, and a bunch of the other monsters. Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That's my theme this year. So I'm going Hollywood Retro Monsters, and they have a lot of awesome, awesome stuff at the 99 cent store. I think that's it for my haul, though. Pretty sure. 
So if you like videos like this, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of when we upload new videos. If you are new here, welcome, and thank you for joining us. If you're returning, thank you, family. And don't forget, as always, be kind, inspire, and be inspired, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.